Hello everyone, this is DJ Gavin, and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today we are going to build a ALU in Minecraft, or at least parts of it. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's get started. So, we're going to want an XOR game with our A and B input. And then after that, I believe it's. Yeah. So, we're going to have our carry going into here. And then we're going to take our output of this XOR game, put it into there. We're going to also have a AND gate, have another cyan line, and then we are going to have another AND gate with A and B, and then we're going to have finally our OR gate, wires like that, and believe it or not, that is the basics of the input. Now we're going to wire these all together with some bundled cable, like so. And then we are also going to want, we're going to want one of these stone brick strips. You don't have to have stone brick strips specifically. And then we are also going to want a lever here, here, turn them both on, and then we're going to have a white cable, orange cable, a cyan cable. And that should be operational. Let's test it. So if input A is on, only that is on. If input B is on, only that is on. If input Alright, before I talk about why half of this is changed, let me tell you what's changed because I didn't tell you in the next part. So, what was this cyan color before was turned to black to make it easier on myself when I was building this. And we added this little circuit over here, which basically is an XOR gate connected to this cyan wire. And the black wire, the, yeah, not black, orange wire that was connected here before, I believe, was moved over here. And I believe, yeah, and then I added this, and then you'll copy it over, and you'll have what is in the next part. Sorry for the double mess up there. Didn't realize until after editing that I had that issue. So I'll see you in the video. So, um, hmm. Messed up the recording there a little bit. So we're going to continue where I believe we left off. So when we left off, we had, I think the lamp was here and this wire was gone. That's basically what we had with this nut there. Yeah, that looks pretty close. Sorry that happened. I don't really want to start this over, so we're going to just start from here. So, we left off and it worked kind of like this. Let me turn this to day. Time, set, day. So, if we have input A active, our first bit's active. If we have a input B, carry. That works. And if we have all of them on, we have one bit for the current bit we have are working on, and we have carry out. Now, I was talking about, I believe, extending this to have more bits available to use. So, I copied this, and 
Basically what you do is, you take the carry out from the first one, and you send it to the second one, which will become its bit output if it's on. And then you also take your subtraction line. So, now I can do, I believe this is 3, minus 1, wait, what is this? 1, 2, 3, that's 3, subtract 1, oh, der math, okay, so for subtracting, we have 2 minus 1 is 1. That's correct. And we'll add 2. Right? This is not right. Either way, that's how you're supposed to implement subtraction. I'm not completely sure about if this is correct or not. Please let me know in the comments. I am not completely sure if how I am reading it is the exact way you should, or if I need to modify the carry-in somehow, or I don't know. But I do know this bit should be correct. So just implement it like this and you should be fine, and then you just gotta figure out how the inputs are supposed to work for subtraction and such. But after that, I started talking about, let's see. So an ALU is more than adding and subtracting. It has an AND operation. Oh, come on. There you go. AND operation. Yep, both. OR. And XOR. Along with some have direct implementation of multiplication and division. Have NOT operations, etc, etc. And in order to pick which operation you're using, you're going to need something else. You're going to need control lines. Now, control lines are basically just... It's like a bus of data, which just tells it which operation you're going to be doing. So, if you're going to be doing a 2-bit AND operation, you'd have two of these, and then you'd give it the inputs, and you'd take the output. And you'd send that to the register which we'll probably be working on next video. Same thing goes with anything else. So if you want to send it to the adding and subtracting, you'll want something with the according amount of bits of data you're sending it to, and then you give it the data it needs, so the white and orange for each of them. And in the instance of subtracting, you'll also be activating this. So basically adding is one operation, subtracting is another with, which is the exact same, but you're just changing this to be on. And yeah, that should be basically what I wanted to get done today. So next video, we'll probably be working on, probably be actually working on just generally getting a ALU fully implemented, probably a 4-bit ALU to start, since it'll give us enough bits to have enough operations we can do to make it interesting, while also not too complex and large to where it just is copy and pasting and watching my computer explode, which, oops, that wrong button. It already kind of is having a little bit of troubles for some reason. I'm guessing... I'm just having RAM issues probably at the moment, because it only allocated half of what it should have. Hmm, weird. But that will probably do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.